What up, beautiful people? It's your boy, Mundus, and I want to welcome you to Shine Life Family. This is a place where we study God's Word and align the scriptures and build our faith strong. It's a word of work. Today, I have a quick topic. I want to talk about speaking in tongues. You know, the Spirit of God put this in my heart to discuss this today about speaking in tongues. This is like a most controversial thing to a lot of Christians. Many people don't understand it. They think speaking in tongues is of the devil or why should we speak in tongues? It do, do, is it necessary for every Christian speaking in tongues? Well, today we, I'm going I'm to address all this um, information and we're going to talk more about it. And I'm coming from you in a beautiful city of London. It's a beautiful morning here in London. As I hope you can see that the weather is simply amazing. So let's get into speaking in tongues. Well, I want to tell you my experience, how I got, I started speaking in tongues. I used to be the one too, that used to be like, oh, speaking in tongues is not even real. These people are making this stuff up. Um, I used to be a, a non-believer. I mean, I, I was a Christian, but I doubted it. I was like, what is this speaking? I wanted to speak in tongues. The truth of the matter is I wanted to speak in tongues, but I didn't know how. And I was like, and no matter how much I prayed, I was like, oh, Lord God, let me speak in tongues. Nothing happened, but something changed. One time I was invited to a youth, it was a youth church where I was invited to, and the pastor was preaching. And as he was preaching, he was talking about speaking in tongues and receiving the Holy Spirit. So I was like, you know what? And he said, it, does anyone want to receive the Holy Spirit and speak in tongues? And I was like, yeah, I want to receive the Holy Spirit, I want to speak in tongues. So I had everybody speak in tongues. And I just thought they're just making these words up. This is just gibberish. There's no way this is of God. So I was like, I want to speak in tongues. I want to taste it out. And then he said, okay, wait till the end of the service and come and I will pray for you. So I had a couple of people there. We went to the, to, in front of the altar. <laughs> so I, all, all this while I'm thinking, this is just not going to happen. I'm going to prove this is fake. So anyway, he goes, we are lined up and he prays for everyone. There's a lady, I think, on, the, on my right-hand side. He prays for this lady. He lays hands on all something, and then he tells us, start speaking, and then this lady starts speaking in tongues. And I'm like, okay, it's interesting. And he comes to me, right? He prays for me, he lays hands on me. Nothing happened. And he's like, yo, you're speaking tongues. I'm like, all right, nothing is happening. So I was like, you know what? This is all fake. This is making this thing up. I was like, I told you, see, this is all made up. But anyway, what happened? Um, so that was a Sunday. So at night when I've been back home, I was super disappointed. I was like, you know what? This speaking in tongues is just, they make this stuff up. This stuff is not real. There's no way you can speak in tongues. So I went back home. I usually prayed, you know, I say my prayers in my own understanding. Every night before I went to bed, I usually prayed. So I was a young Christian then. So I was on my knees. I went on my knees to pray. You know, totally forgetting the experience that happened that day. So I was praying at night, Sunday night. The means I opened my mouth to pray. <laughs> oh dear Lord. So I was about to pray. The means I opened my mouth to pray. It felt like a fire came from heaven into my spirit. Like a burning fire, but it was not a burning fire that's painful. It's fire, but it's not painful. And it's like a rush just went to my spirit. And I started speaking in tongues, speaking in tongues. I didn't know it was tongues. I just started saying these words and I couldn't stop. I just kept on going and I was like, what's going on, Lord? And I was just speaking and speaking these words I couldn't understand. And I remember saying in my mind, I said, Lord, if this is for you, if this is from you, please. I mean, if this is not from you, make it stop. I was, but then I said, if this is for you, keep it going. I don't want to stop. So I just started speaking and speaking almost for about half hour it was the best experience ever the minute i woke up from that prayer my life was changed before maybe i was a christian I was like eh. but this time oh dear lord joy came to my spirit confidence came to my spirit i was a changed man my christianity that was like oh yeah we're going to church oh christianity changed the word of god was alive suddenly the word of god was exciting suddenly I'm excited about the things of God. Suddenly, I'm bold about my faith. Suddenly, miracles are just happening in my life. Just from that one experience, speaking in tongues. And I remember the day, you know, you know, a lot of people don't remember when they were, um, they were born again. But I remember when I received the Holy Spirit. I think it was a February 11th. I remember that was a Sunday. And then on Monday, I had to go do like a driving thing. So I remember it. And I passed that test because I was so bold and confident. 
just from receiving that ability to speak in tongues and I was excited. And in fact, one time before I started speaking in tongues, I wanted to speak in tongues. And my sister knew this, this dude that spoke in tongues and he came to our house and I was just asking him questions. He's like, how do you speak in tongues? Is it real? And then he started saying, oh yeah, this is a special gift. Only special people can receive this gift. He just started going on and how this is special and uh, you have to be qualified. And I was like, you know, and after that experience, I realized this gift is free for everyone. And the reason a lot of Christians don't speak in tongues is a simple reason. Because number one, God is not a demon. You know, demon pos demons possess people without their will. But God is a God of free will. How did you get born again? You didn't get born again because God forced himself on you. No, it was a confession. It was an acknowledgement. It was faith. Only when you, through your faith, receive God, that's how you get born again. The same way everything else works the same as the, uh, the, the Spirit. Jesus said, which of you that are fathers, if your son will ask you for fish, you will give him a serpent. Or for bread, you will give him a snake. He says, how much more would the God give you the Holy Spirit to those that ask? And so this, the thing is, all you got to do is ask with faith and receive it. That was the missing link. I didn't know. And before, why well, I didn't speak in tongues? Because I, I, I was doubting it. I didn't understand it. So I was just saying, and a lot of people, I don't blame people because a lot of people don't understand it. It sounds, it's, if it's something you can't understand, it's foreign to you. But I want to assure you, this is of God. This is what the prophet Joel talked about. He said, in the last days, I'll pour out my spirit. And your sons and daughters will prophesy. This is of the spirit. And uh, if you've been holding back to speaking in tongues, God will not move your mouth and make you speak. What it takes is faith in you to accept this gift. He won't force you. So you must be willing to accept it. And, 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 and a part of it, maybe it's lying about it. So maybe I'm, I'm going to do another part two video explaining the benefits of speaking in tongues, explaining how tongues came about. So, and then you can have faith for it, because if you don't have faith for it, you might be praying, praying to receive the speaking in tongues, and you're not speaking in tongues. But all it takes is just for you to believe, and then open your mouth, and it's from God. You don't have to, to think about the words, because this is not French. This is not English, where they teach you in school. This is the Spirit of God teaching you this word. So I'll be making, uh, I'll make probably a part two video explaining the benefits of tongues how it came about and your faith can be built up and then you can ask god in faith he says you just say lord i receive this gift of speaking in tongues i receive the holy spirit number one is to receive the holy spirit to come into you because the spirit of god is the one that gives you the gift of speaking in tongues so a lot of people have not received the spirit of god to to come in their heart when you're born again you are immersed in the spirit but that it doesn't mean the spirit of god is in your heart he lives in you. So you have to invite him to come into your heart and he'll grant you this gift of speaking in tongues. I'll do a part two on this video. So stay tuned for part two. We'll continue more about this. But even now, you have received faith of speaking in tongues. All you have to do where you are, just say, precious father, I ask that the spirit of God to come and live in my heart, to come and live in my body, in my soul. Thank you for giving me the ability to speak in other tongues. And I receive this gift by faith and then open your mouth and just speak. Don't think about what you're going to say, just say. With faith, have faith that when you start speaking, there'll be tongues. All right, we'll talk more about it soon. So it's been your boy Mundus. I want you to be prosperous and victorious in all you do. I'm enjoying a beautiful summer morning here in London and more videos are coming soon. So make sure you subscribe if you have not subscribed. Make sure you hit the like button, notification button, all that. Leave me a comments. what you think about this and we'll talk more about this later. It's been your boy Mundus. Be victorious and prosperous in all you do. God bless you. Mmm. -hmm.